What is going on, Notre Dame fans? Mike Singer from blueandgold.com here. It is April 2nd. It's a Friday, which means it is time for the weekly recruiting wrap. Some big Notre Dame recruiting topics to discuss this week. Official visits, big new offer in the 2022 class, and talking about a five-star player in the 2023 class, and the number one player in the country per rivals. Before we dive into today's video, of course, hit that thumbs up button on this video. Please do that. It helps support our channel so much. If you just want to say thanks to us here at blueandgold.com, hitting a, a like on this video is a great way to do that. And if you're not subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to do that. And if you're interested in becoming a premium subscriber at blueandgold.com, use the promo code SPRINGBALL when you sign up with a new monthly subscription you get four months added onto your subscription for free. Again, use that promo code SPRINGBALL. Official visits are expected to open up in some capacity. Don't know um, if there's going to be a limit on how many recruits can be on campus at one time, uh, a limit of visitors a school can have. I don't know what exactly what it's going to look like, but Notre Dame is starting to set some tentative official visit dates. Again, assuming that dead period lifts um, after May 31st and C.J. Williams, um, a borderline five-star prospect in the 2022 class, has set a tentative date. He is going to be on campus for the weekend of June 4th. So Notre Dame not going to be wasting much time getting him on campus. I mean, this is a, a big-time receiver prospect. Look at the Rivals rankings, the number 27 player in the country, number three receiver in the country, and number two player in the loaded state of California. He's also going to be taking trips to schools like Texas and Ohio State, and you have to factor in USC too. Uh, but Notre Dame has a very good chance to get this borderline five-star prospect. Um, he's got that 6.0 rivals ranking that's just on the cusp. 6.1 is a five-star player. Uh, Notre Dame offered him real early in the process. Dell Alexander. I know some of you Notre Dame fans who follow recruiting. Um, you know, for whatever reason, Dell Alexander's not your favorite uh, recruiter on the staff for Notre Dame. But he's done a phenomenal job in this recruitment with C.J. Williams, staying in that daily uh, consistent contact. Williams was actually going to visit campus last spring. Of course, the pandemic shut any chances of that happening down. Uh, but uh, things are opening up, and where's the first place that C.J. Williams wants to go is Notre Dame. So great stuff there with Notre Dame getting C.J. Williams on campus. Another big-time prospect who Notre Dame will host is Emil Wagner the weekend of June 18th. A source close to him told blueandgold.com Wagner listed as the number one, 198 overall player nationally, number 29 offensive tackle, number eight player in Ohio. Someone who just keeps shooting up the boards. You see the future cast picks are in 100% for him to land at Ohio State. The Buckeyes were a recent offer for him. And a big one. You know, Wagner is big on academics, which is why Notre Dame and Stanford are key contenders in this recruitment. But Ohio State is Ohio State. He's an in-state kid. And, uh, you know, whenever Ohio State's going after a kid in Ohio, they're tough to beat. That, that's not to say that they always get that kid, but Ohio State is certainly tough to beat um, with Ohio kids. He attends Huber Heights, Ohio, Wayne High School, which is, of course, where Mike Mickens and Marcus Freeman went to high school. Uh, those guys went to high school at the same time as well. Emil Wagner's head coach at Wayne High, the uh, same coach who was at Wayne when Mickens and Freeman were playing for the school. Uh, Roosevelt Mooks is his name. So uh, the connections are there. Jeff Quinn has done a nice job in this recruitment. Some good things kind of going in Notre Dame's favor here, but he will also officially visit Ohio State in June. I'm also here in Penn State will get a, a visit too. So uh, Emil Wagner's recruitment is certainly one that Notre Dame can win, but it won't be easy. On Thursday, April 1st, not an April Fool's joke here, Notre Dame defensive line coach Mike Elston dished out a scholarship offer to Darren Agu. He is from London. Uh, moved to the U.S. just last August, playing his first time of 11-man football, and, uh, and in a quick period of time, he's landed 31 scholarship offers. Alabama also offered Darren on Thursday. Certainly someone to keep an eye on. This picture you see on the screen is a, a photo I took of him 
Just this past Sunday, March 28th, saw him at the VTO Elite 100 camp in Atlanta, Georgia. I saw Darren. I was like, whoa, who is this kid? Uh, ended up being Darren Agu, uh, someone who I've been familiar with, knew Notre Dame was interested in, uh, but hadn't seen him in person yet. And a uh, great young man to talk to. And man, did he dominate um, at this camp. Following footage is what I took there. Um, from my phone, that clip will actually play at the end of this 40 second video. Cause man, was that an impressive rep, but the length, the speed, um, he did well on the bench press too, at this combine slash camp moves really well. He ran well in the 40, um, just a, what really is impressive about him is how new he is to the game of football. Um, but just how technically advanced he is at that age, going into a senior year of high school and how good he is. Um, and we're going to be coming up on that one-on-one -on -one clip again where he just absolutely torched uh, the young man. Like, you, you see his hands um, moving so much. I mean, th that that's impressive to see from a defensive end um, at, at this age, again, with his experience level. Um, so Darren Agu, uh, a very impressive prospect and one that if Notre Dame lands him, uh, you'd pair him at the defensive end position with Tyson Ford and Aiden Gobira, who is already committed to Notre Dame. And he would fit right in there in that Viper position because he's impressive. Six foot six, uh, close to 230 pounds, uh, number 27 athlete in the country. He's uh, listed as an athlete by rivals because he does have tight end offers. He has defensive end offers. But Darren seems to think that defensive end is his highest upside at the next level. So he worked out at that VTO camp at defensive end. And in Notre Dame, that's where they're recruiting him as an end. Um, so I think Notre Dame's got a solid chance in this recruitment. And more details um, on him will be at bloomandgold.com today and the rest of this weekend. And last but certainly not least, Notre Dame in the mix for five-star defensive end Lebius Overton from Milton, Georgia. He's from the same high school as Notre Dame tight end commit Jack Nickel. Overton has ties to the Midwest. His mom's from Chicago. I believe he's had some family members who have lived in South Bend as well. He's from the state of Alabama, though. The Crimson Tide are always tough to beat, regardless of who the recruit is, but especially an in-state kid. He's living in the Atlanta area now, which is more friendly towards the Georgia Bulldogs and even Georgia Tech. Um, that's in the uh, in the city in downtown Atlanta. Um, but Notre Dame's in the mix here. You know, the Fighting Irish offered on St. Patrick's Day. And here's what he told me about his offer from Notre Dame, a story you can find at bloomandgold.com. He said, it meant a lot. I've been wanting an offer from them for the longest time, and I got it on St. Patrick's Day. It was a blessing. Overton also added that he would like to get up to Notre Dame for a campus visit whenever he can, whether that's later this spring for self-guided tour or into the summer or maybe this fall if, if game day visits are, are able to happen. Um, this photo I also took. This was at Milton High School um, last November at the Tom Lemming photo shoot. And, uh, man, he is impressive. Also saw him at the Under Armour camp in Atlanta just a few weeks ago and was certainly dominant there as well. Not saying that Notre Dame's going to end up landing Lebius Overton, but, hey, they're in the mix. The offer went out. Um, it wasn't one of his earliest offers by any means. Oh, but still good timing on the offer. And now Mike Elston, Marcus Freeman, and the staff have to get to work for the nation's number one recruit. That is going to do it for this week's recruiting wrap. Before you get out of here, again, please hit the thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to our channel for more content. And if you like our coverage here on our YouTube page and you want more Notre Dame coverage, go to bloomingold.com. Use that promo code SPRINGBALL. Have a great weekend, everyone, and have a safe and happy Easter.